ます。It's never a good idea to pay more than you should for a product or service, and investing is no exception. If you're investing for the long term, reducing your costs to a reasonable level can account for up to one third of your eventual wealth. One of the big mistakes that you can make is pay too much for what you get.、Um, paying too many fees will make your product supplier happy, will make the bank happy. But it certainly will distract or subtract from your performance in the end.、Um, and as a result, you should try to minimize fees or to reduce fees. That does not necessarily mean paying nothing at all for advice or for products. It's just that you have to make sure that you get the best bang for the buck, as the Americans would say. Investors can do themselves a huge favor at a stroke by switching from expensive. Actively managed funds to cheaper, passively managed alternatives. An active fund is typically five times more expensive, and that doesn't include the additional transaction costs you incur. So, if you compare passive funds, whether we're talking about ETFs or index funds,、uh, with actively managed funds,、uh, they tend to be massively cheaper. Um, a typical ETF will set you back in terms of annual fees, total expense ratios of 0.2 to 0.4 percent. I think that's where we are roughly at this point in time. If you go to the cheapest index funds, you can get it for less than 0.1 percent per year. A typical fee for an actively managed fund is one percent. So the, the the index fund, the ETF, costs you one fifth of what the actively managed fund costs, roughly. But another big cost you need to think about is self-imposed, and that's the cost of your own behaviour. In other words, buying high and selling low, and letting your emotions and inbuilt biases get the better of you. This is where a good financial advisor can save you money. A good advisor, whether it's your financial advisor or a trusted person in your family who has experience as an investor. Can actually help you maneuver your way through the、uh, the ups and downs of markets, and literally help you stay calm, calm you down actively,、uh, like a doctor would if you have a panic attack, or a nurse would after if you have a panic attack. Similarly, if you are getting afraid about markets,、um, that is like a panic attack, and your financial advisor is like a doctor for your wealth or for your money. The key then is to be smart about the costs you pay to invest. Some things are worth paying for, others aren't. It's that simple.